Welcome to the video. Welcome to the Video Knowledge Channel. My name is Rory. Today we're going to make three different text animations. Once we make the first one, the other two will be simple because we're just going to change some parameters. We're going to right click in our media pool, New Fusion Composition. I'm going to call it Text 01. We're going to drag it into our timeline. We're going to hop over to the Fusion page. We have our media out node. We're going to drag in a text node. You can type whatever you want in here. I'm just going to type trails because that's what we're going to end up with, some trails. I'm going to change the font. I'm going to pull this into our viewer so we can see what we're doing. I'm going to change this to about 0.2 for size. Now we got to give this some rotation, so we're going to highlight the text. We're going to make sure our playhead is at the beginning. We're going to come to the Layout tab, our Z rotation. We're going to set a keyframe. We're going to come to the end, and we're going to type in 360. So now we have one full rotation. But it's a pretty linear rotation if we play that. So we're going to switch that up a little. We're going to come up here to our spline editor. We're going to check these two boxes. I'm going to hit F4 on my keyboard to stretch it out. I'm going to double click in here. I'm going to hit Control A to highlight everything. I'm going to hit S to smooth it. I'm going to put our playhead here on frame 40, just for some measuring purposes, we're going to drag this straight out to our playhead. We're going to go to frame 80 with it, and we're going to drag this one in this direction to our playhead. Now when we play that back, we have this kind of an animation. If it gets to the middle here, it spins faster. So that's what we have, that's perfect. We're going to close our spline editor. And now we got to add some trails to it. So we're going to highlight our text, shift space bar. We're going to type motion trails. This is the one you want right here. We're going to add that. We're going to highlight the motion trails. We're going to come up to our inspector panel, make sure it's on. Under trail length, we're going to change that to 30. And for our drop off, we're going to make that 0.8. Now, if you follow along and just go with these settings, you can always come back and change them later and, and see what it does for you. But for purposes of this tutorial, if you just follow along, everything should work out. We're going to come down to Advanced Options. Under Soften, we're going to go to 0.5. We're going to pull our text into the viewer. Now we're going to make a Merge node. This icon right here is Merge. We're going to bring that in. And we're going to hook our background, which is the yellow, to the text. We're going to hook the foreground to the motion trail. We're going to drag the merge into the viewer. We're going to select the merge. We're going to go to the apply mode. And we're going to set it from normal to screen. You can see the difference there, what it did. This is normal, and we go to screen, it makes it more solid. So now we're going to colorize our trails. You can see the trails we're making. So we're going to bring in a color collect, ugh, excuse me, color corrector node. I am getting tired. It's getting late. Bring in the color corrector. We're going to hook that up with our merge node drag it into the viewer, and we can make that whatever color we want. 
I'll go with that blue. But we want to have kind of a gradient type thing. So we're going to bring in another color corrector. We're going to hook that to our merge as well. You pull that into the viewer and you can make whatever color you want. We'll go with that green. So we have the blue and we have the green. You can make whatever color you want. So now what we're going to do is we're going to hook these two together. It's going to create a merge node like so. And so we can see both colors at one time. We have to bring in a mask. So we're going to bring in this triangle. We're going to hook it to our merge two. We're going to rotate it here with our angle. I'm going to pull it over. If you pull the merge into the window, you'll see the two colors. I'm just going to go with something like that. That's looking pretty good. Maybe stretch these out so we don't have any problems. So that's looking good. I'm going to click this rectangle. I'm going to come here to soft edge and I'm going to make that 0 0.2 just to give it a little softness. We're going to highlight our merge node and we're going to bring in a glow node. So with the merge node highlighted, shift space bar, we're going to type glow and this is what we want. This one right here. The GLO one. I told you I was getting tired. We're going to highlight that. We're going to set the glow size to 20. And we're going to set the glow to about 0.6. Like so. Now this is what we have. So we're going to bring in one more thing. We're going to bring in a blur node. So with the glow node highlighted, shift space bar, search blur, and you want the regular blur node. Bring that in. Hook that to your media out. And we're going to go over to our edit page. And we're going to play that through. I should, uh, Set my render cache to smart. We're going to play that through. And that's the effect that we have. Home on the keyboard. Space bar to play it. And there's our effect. So now we're going to move on to our second one. So we're going to highlight this fusion composition. We're going to hit control C. We're going to come over here, double click, hit control V. And we're going to put our playhead over it. We're going to hop into the fusion page. Now we don't want any keyframes. So in order to take them out, we're going to highlight our text node. We're going to come to layout and we put the keyframes into Z. We're going to right click the Z and we're going to do remove text one layout angle Z. Now we don't have any keyframes. There's no motion. There's nothing. So we're going to set our playhead at about frame 40. For our X and Y, we're going to put a keyframe there. We're going to take it all the way to the beginning. We're going to set a keyframe for X, Y there. Now we're going to come back to 40. And we're going to take our Y axis and we're going to pull it up. And that set a keyframe. Now we're going to come ahead to frame 90. Yeah, let's go with 80. Frame 80. We're going to take that Y axis and bring it down. Then we're going to bring our playhead to the very end and we're going to bring that back to the middle. 
If you just line up the two circles, we're back to the middle. Now, if we play that through, we kind of get a bouncing effect. It has to render out yet. It's not really playing real time here. But that's our effect. We'll play that back. And that's our effect. We can head back over to the edit page. We'll play that, let it render out. And now our third effect is gonna really be simple. We'll play that one more time that it's rendered. Our third effect, we're gonna highlight this one. We're going to control C to copy, control V to paste. We're going to put the playhead at the beginning. We're going to hop over to the fusion page. And here, all we're going to do is we're going to click on motion trails and we're just going to play with the zoom and the rotate. So if you zoom, you can get some different effects. You can just play around in here. We can play with our rotation. This is what you can get. We'll just play around on here, get the effect you're looking for. I'm gonna zoom in a little better. Something like that. We'll hop over to the edit page. We'll play that back. We'll let it render out. And that's what we have. Something different. That's all I got for you in this video. I hope you learned something. If you did, please take the time to like and subscribe. And we'll see you in the next video.